Hello and welcome to another review. I'm Tennis Rally and today I will be reviewing the new Wilson Rush Pro 4.0. The shoe I have reviewed in, uh, in this test is the, the Hope New York City Wilson uh, US Open edition. That's why it maybe it looks a bit cooler and more and more like archy if you can say that. Um, otherwise it's uh, the same shoe as a regular Rush Pro uh, 4.0 so the shoe itself isn't any different it just uh, uh, looks a bit different because it's the US Open edition so I have been using this shoe for some time now uh, it has taken a while for me to do this review actually uh, stuff has come up uh, uh, and I haven't had the time to do it but uh, here it is uh, and here's my opinion and my full review of this shoe so at first the looks uh, i'm really impressed by how the shoe looks i have gotten a lot of um, compliments about it uh, especially this hope edition uh, it looks really really cool uh, looks modern and yeah it really suits the the whole us open vibe and the color as well so some features of the shoe, uh, there's like a half boot uh, tongue construction uh, so you get a better fit uh, inside the shoe. You have some durability rubber on the ladder side or a middle side, I mean, uh, on the inside of the shoe. Uh, some 4D supports to, to stabilize on ladder movements uh, especially. Otherwise it's a pretty standard shoe. Uh, the durability on the outsole isn't uh, anything that blows me away. It's definitely better uh, than most shoes, but for the price that you pay for this shoe, uh, it's it's decent. Um, it's supposed to have good durability, and therefore I I'm not impressed in any means, but it does the job. So at first, when I try this shoe uh, compared to what I usually use. Uh, I have been using the A6 Yield Resolution 8 for quite a while. Uh, this shoe is higher off the ground uh, and therefore it doesn't feel as stable to me. I like to feel more low to the ground uh, which gives a sense of stability uh, when I move uh, lateral and far off the court. So in that case it feels a bit more unstable, uh, it's still a stable shoe. but. I f would like to be a bit lower to the ground uh, and feel the, the ground below a bit more. And yeah, the durability has been uh, plenty enough actually. Uh, but if you compare to other shoes like uh, the Barricade, uh, this is pretty torn up, but uh, you have a feature here that the, the laces is placed inside the shoe, uh, which when, when sliding, uh, it protects the laces which the Rush Pro does not have. So that's one thing for me that I'm uh, missing on this shoe. Uh, Nike have the same with, with their Vapor line here, the Vapor Pro. The shoelaces go inside, uh, therefore you cannot tear up your laces uh, and durability is much better. Um, So that's one thing I miss with this shoe. Uh, the Resolution 8 doesn't have it either. Uh, that's why I actually recently switched from the Resolution 8 to the Barricade, uh, which seems to hold up a bit more for my playstyle uh, when sliding uh, and so on. Uh, and it's also a bit lower to the ground, which I really enjoy. Otherwise than that, it's not much more to speak about this shoe. Uh, I liked it, I would not buy it uh, myself again. Uh, it's only thanks to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe that I got to try this on. Um, but it's not for me. Uh, it's, I would like to stay lower to the ground, as I said, and have a bit more durability on the, on the medial side um, when I slide uh, and have more stability uh, overall. So. I think that would be all for this shoe review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please ask them down in the comments and I hope you had a great day.